Before I came to the center, I had never touched a tablet before. At the center, my job was to describe and translate a collection of 34 cuneiform tablets, which are the oldest items in special collections. Cuneiform is the oldest writing system invented by humans around 3400 BC. Cuneiform tablets are made out of clay, which was a very abundant resource in ancient Mesopotamia. The collection has mainly two types of tablets, receipts and writing exercises from the world's first schools. This receipt is the oldest item in special collections, which is over 4,000 years old, and it records 19 fat sheep, 10 male goats that were given as an offering to King Shulgi from a man named Nalu in the city of Ur. This was done by a beginner student just learning the basic nouns for the writing system. In the first column, the teacher wrote out signs to be copied by the beginner student. In the second column, we see the student's work. Here we see the basic nouns for fly, dog, and fig, which were also copied on the reverse. This drawing was done by a student in scribal school which tells us that scribes had to work at refining their hand, both with their sign practice and with drawing technique. As a teaching assistant, I was able to use my training from the center to create a class with fellow graduate students. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do today is actually make our own little cuneiform tablets. And I've given each of you your own individual a uh, cuneiform exercise. This is like playing operation. <laughs> there are no lazy scribes. It became very obvious to my students that a scribe needed many years of training in order to become very precise and consistent. My experience here at the center ties in very closely with my career goals. I plan to work in a museum with unpublished collections of cuneiform tablets. One of the benefits of working at the center is the ability to develop technical skills in my field. For example, I was able to work on line art, which is the rendering of signs from the tablet into a black and white drawing, which makes it easier for a non-specialist to read. There are tens of thousands of cuneiform tablets that still need to be translated. My goal is to continue working with hidden collections using everything that I learned here at the center.